Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is find unknown uh, side lengths. So this is 11.3 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. And then so there's our common course strand for our teachers, and our question is, how can we find the unknown length of a side when we know its perimeter? So each one of these are going to give us a perimeter here. So here's an example. At Simpson Elementary, Mrs. Heron's class is making a garden with the, the dimensions shown. So she's going to make this uh, garden right here, and, and uh, 5 feet, 3 feet, 7 feet, 4 feet, and N feet. We don't know what this side length is. So if they use 27 feet all the way around, how much is this for N, for this last leg right here? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, find the unknown side here and write an equation. So we'll just go ahead and we know the equation adds up to 27 right here. So if we just go ahead and add 5 plus 3, we'll go ahead and put in those blank spots plus 7 plus 4 plus this n. So the 7 and the 4 are going to go right there. Okay, and then that's going to equal the 27, the 27 feet of fencing. So we'll go ahead and add these four numbers together. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15, 15 plus 4, 15 plus 4 is 19, so that's what goes right there. And then addition and subtraction are inverse operations of each other. So here it says uh, plus 19, so 19 plus some number equals 27. So to find this other number, we can subtract 19 from 27, and that'll give us 19 plus plus that number will give us that 27. So let's subtract 19. And so we subtract 19, and then we subtract 19 from 27. And then so what happens is, is these 19s on the left will cancel each other out. And then so 27 min minus 19. Here I'm using my fingers, you guys. So I'm at 19, so 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I see eight fingers right now. So 27 minus 19 is eight, okay? So uh, they will use eight feet of fencing for that last side okay so that would add up to the 27 feet of fencing okay so here's another one here whoops um, uh, math symbols you guys a symbol or a letter can stand for an unknown side length so in that last example we had n n was our letter and that stood for the unknown side length. In a couple of lessons ago, we had a, I used, I don't know if, what, what your textbook used, but you can use any symbol. I used a, a triangle with a, a question mark in it, and it represented the side length of a, of a rectangle. But you can use anything. Typically, they'll use letters, and you might see like X involved a lot, or, or the letter Y involved a lot. I don't know if you can hear my wind chimes out back and the birds out back, but... Anyways, let's try another one, you guys. So the perimeter of the shape is 24 meters. So all the way around is 24 right here. So including this W. So it says find this unknown length uh, of W right here. So we're just going to go ahead and add them all up, including the W, and set it equal to that, that perimeter of 24 right there. Okay. So we're going to go, I'll start right here. I'll go 6 and then put the 2, 6 plus 2, plus 7, plus 5 plus 1, plus this W, that's going to give us the, all the way around the perimeter of 24. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. Let's add up these numbers right here. So uh, we'll go ahead and add those numbers up. Okay, and remember, um, uh, whatever these numbers are, plus the unknown length, that's going to give us the 24. So 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. So those unknown or those lengths all add up to 21. So so this says right here 21 plus what number equals 24? Well, you can probably figure that out, no problem. And you're probably in your head subtracting 24 minus 21. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and subtract because uh, a, a subtraction is the inverse operation of addition. So we'll subtract 21 and we get that third side or that, that other side, not the third side, the W side to equal 3 right there. So for it for the perimeter to be 24 meters, then this, this has to be 3 meters meters right here okay so the unknown side length w is uh three meters long right there okay hey um uh here we have uh unknown side lengths of a rectangle right here and we're going to use the guess and check method right here so larry has a rectangular rug okay and the perimeter of uh, this rug is 28 feet 
All right, and it says that the width is five feet right here. What is the length? So here's a length over here, here's a length. So if we add up five plus this length plus five plus this length, that will give us a perimeter of 28 feet, okay? So here we don't know uh, uh, one side, we don't know two sides on this guy right here. So uh, a rectangle has two pairs of opposite sides that are equal to each other. So this five and this five are equal. And this L, whatever that is, is gonna equal this L right here. So we can predict the length and add uh, to find the perimeter. If the perimeter is 28 feet, then that's our correct answer. If it's not, then we'll keep guessing, okay? so. Uh, they set up a table for us here. So uh, here's some numbers we're going to predict. And they, we just chose 7, 8, 9. And just kind of look at this. If this is 5, this is definitely longer than 5. So we started at 7. And if that works, that's our answer. This is 7. If 7 doesn't work and, and the number is too small, then we'll try 8. If 8 doesn't work and it's still too small, then we'll try 9, okay? So we're going to plug uh, these uh, lengths in right here for these blanks. So we'll plug the 7s in, okay? So it would be 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7. So here it would be 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7. So when we add 5 plus 7, 5 plus 7 is 12. Um, uh, plus another 5 plus 7, which is another 12, so 12 and 12 is going to give us 24. Okay, is that 28? No, it's not 28, so that one's not going to work. Okay, since 24 is less than 28, let's try a bigger number for the length, okay? So 5 plus 8 is 13. We'll add another 13 together because we've got another 5 plus 8, so that's 26. Well, that's not going to work either. Let's try 9, okay? 5 plus 9 is 4. 14. 14 plus another 14 is going to get us 28. So that's our that's our magic number right there. So the length is going to be 9 feet right there. Okay. Hey, let's try this, you guys. So uh, we're going to find the unknown uh, length of the side of a square. So this square has perimeter 20. What is the side uh, length on this? Okay. All right. So a square has four sides. They're all equal. So we can multiply to find the perimeter. So let's write a multiplication equation for the perimeter. Okay. And so they told us all these side lengths are S this time. So, so we can add 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. I'm sorry, did I say 4? S plus S plus S plus S. I was thinking because there's four S's. So it's going to be 4 times S, okay, equals the perimeter because there's four of them. All right, so uh, use multiplication facts. 4 times what number equals 20? Okay, well, hopefully we know that 4 times 5 equals 20, okay? So the length of each side of the square is going to be 5 inches. All right, you guys, I hope that made sense, and I hope you're doing well. Take care.